Hello and welcome everyone. In this video I will show you how to install and run the apps from the DeepSound store. These apps are all made for the Novation Circuit tracks and the original one and I created them to use them on an iPad. And I will also use one for the demonstration here. However, they will also run on Mac, Windows, Linux and Android. In the store you will find some demos and bundles and stuff, but basically there are four apps. NC Editor, NC Companion, then there's Vanilla, which comes with NC Companion and NC Pocket Storage. And the editor is a patch editor for the two synths on the circuit tracks. So you can edit the patches, you can access all the, uh, all the parameters. Uh, you also have a patch manager, so you can load and uh, save uh, to the tracks. And you also have a generator, so you can create um, kind of random sounds uh, and you can influence which parameters are chosen for that. So plenty of possibilities to be creative. Next is NC Companion. Um, this is a performance toolkit for your circuit. Uh, you get a mixer, so you have uh, panning, reverb, delay, level and mute all on one page. So you don't have to switch uh, the views on uh, your circuit when you want to change these parameters. And it also has a snap feature, so you can save the state of all the parameters, all the, the current state into a snap and record it later in real time uh, with one click. Uh, you also get some virtual macros, so you have 16 additional possibilities to influence and manipulate your sound. Uh, you have a macro view, so you can actually see what's going on, uh, on the, when you turn the knobs on your circuit. And uh, there's an effect editor and there's a sample tune feature. Basically what you can do with it is uh, playing tuned notes on the drum tracks. Now with NC Companion you also will get uh, Vanilla which is another patch editor and it's a very simple one. So you can create um, patches in no time. It's a lot of fun to do and it will also support to create a kind of analogish style sounds. And the last step is NC Pocket Storage. It's a memory extension for your circuit. So you basically get 100 additional slots where you can save um, patches and use them uh, on your circuit no matter which pack is actually loaded. Now all four apps are created with TouchOC. Uh, this is the native app that you have to get first and from there you load and run the NC apps. Now you might wonder why I didn't build native apps myself so that you could just download them from the app store and run them. Well, the simple answer is it's not possible. And the reason is an Apple app store policy that if you create an app for an external piece of hardware, uh, like the circuit, Apple wants an authorization from the hardware vendor. In this case, it's Novation and Novation won't grant that. That's the reason why there are no third party uh, apps for Novation products in the app store. People tried it, but Novation won't grant it. And by the way, it's not only Novation, none of the big music brands grant that authorization. So I tried to sneak my way around it and I found TouchOC. It's a very cool app to create control surfaces and it also has a powerful programming interface. So it was perfect for these kind of apps. So the obvious first thing that you will need is TouchOC. And you can get mobile versions in the app stores and you can download desktop versions from the homepage and I will put a link into the description. Now the desktop versions are free. You don't need to buy a license. Uh, they are fully functional and uh, there's just a little wait time in the beginning when you start it uh, if you don't have a license. So you can use them perfectly to test the uh, apps from the DeepSound store. The second thing that you need is of course an app from the App Store. You can download a demo for free or you can just purchase an app. I already downloaded NC Editor to my iPad and what you will get is uh, this zip file just extracted. And in the folder, you will find these TOSC files. These are the actual touch OC files. And we will open NC Editor, the basic version. Uh, just click on it and touch OC will start. And you see NC Editor is already loaded. Now the next step is to connect your circuit to your iPad. And if you don't know how that works, there are two other videos uh, in my channel. Uh, which will describe exactly how to connect any circuit to any iPad. When you're done, you come back to your Touch OC app and click this little chain icon. And now you have to set up your circuit as connection one. It's important that it's connection one, elsewhere it will not work. Go to Browse, click on your circuit as a send port and as a receive port. Now you're done. The app is connected to the circuit and you can start editing your patches. Thank you. 
if you want to stop the app, you can just click on this little dot in the upper right corner. And now you can close the app. And if you restart it, uh, it will automatically load everything as it was. Now, most of the apps also support MIDI hardware controller like the Archive MIDI Mix. And the first thing that you have to do is to connect it to your iPad. And on a new iPad, you just connect it to the USB-C hub. And that's all you have to do. Now it will run without external power, but I recommend it for extended runtime. With an old iPad, it's basically the same. I just added a simple hub to have my USB ports, and then I connected the Archive Media Mix and the tracks to this hub. Just remember in this setup with the tracks that you need external power because the tracks will not run without it. Now back in Touch OC, we have to set up a connection to the controller. So click the chain icon. Now it has to be connection two, that's important and then choose uh, the controller as send port and also as receive port. Now for NC Editor, we have a special version for the MIDI mix and um, it's called NC Editor mm.tosk. Click that. And you see uh, the layout of this version is a little bit like the uh, layout from the archive itself. And now we can start that. And you see uh, they are directly connected. Now in Vanilla and NC Companion, it's a little bit different. You don't have special layouts for specific controllers. Instead, you have a MIDI learn function and you can activate it here. And then uh, you can choose a controller and you move a controller uh, on your controller. And now these are connected. So that's how you run the apps from the Deep Sound Store. Uh, you don't have to do all this stuff again and again. Touch OC will remember your setup. Um, that's it. Cheers and have fun with your circuit.